Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning September 28th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I also have courses on angels and spirituality at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. All right, so let's get on to the auto right here. The first line is, what will you have us tell you? This had this feeling of trust your instincts. Everything that needs to be known is already laid out in front of us. And this is an encouraging taking information or things that you're seeing and twisting them and forcing a meaning around it necessarily. But when you don't have a good feeling about something, trust that. When you don't have a good feeling about someone, trust that. I know I had an instinct to get my videos done, right? Because I don't know what's coming up. Those are the kinds of things that you want to listen to. If you feel like you should get to the grocery store, do it. So on and so on. Okay. So I went ahead and asked, I said, what energies should we prepare for? Like basically what are we going to be facing? Great destruction of the old ways. There will be fighting over this as people fight for control. Do not let this be your fight, but do not be passive. That was interesting because isn't that the thing? People who, who think that they're such good people because they don't get involved, they rise above. Well, <laughs> first of all, um, I don't think that that's honoring your whole humanness necessarily, if that makes sense, uh, because we do get upset about things. We do get passionate, but I think what this is saying is, you know, observe and, you know, don't just pretend like things aren't happening. I mean, we see it all the time. I see it in my comments all the time. We lay down a hard hitting message and someone's like, just stay in the light. Just stay in love. Well, here's the thing. The whole idea here of a human existence is not to have the light take over. It's to have the light temper the darkness. So it isn't so extreme and there can be no evil then, right? It's a balancing, at least while we're in this realm. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that and whatever. Okay, fine. <laughs> but, like, but people who are being imbalanced and they're trying to run away and just live purely in the light. I mean, it must be nice. I say that all the time. But, <laughs> but the idea here is to show up, to show up and be present and just not invested, as I always say. Okay. Um, there would be fighting. Do not let this be your fight, but do not be passive. Your hearts have endured much, but you needn't worry. For your hearts grow strong. More division, I'm getting chills, more division will become apparent. This is not a surface level divide, but a personality one. I didn't know what that meant. So I think um, surface level events. So it's not the ways in, or just the ways that we've always known how we are divided. But it's kind of like what we were saying. I don't remember what video that was recently in the last couple of weeks where it's the people who feel and are in touch with their hearts and the people who have completely disconnected from any feeling whatsoever. And that's a dangerous thing. That's where people, we are in a very abusive world where it takes so little for people to be cruel to one another. Have your hearts go out to some, if you're going to put good light around people, let it be around the innocent people. Okay. And that would be children, people's inner child. I was just saying this to someone in a personal reading too. Um, so I'll just, you know, it came up. So <laughs> I'll pass it along. So, you know, we can remember the innocence. Okay. Uh, more division will become apparent. This is not surface level. We read that. Um, it is time for the heart and many will not pursue it. So people won't accept it because it just goes against what we've been trained to think is strong and who should be. Uh, in power, it should be the person who doesn't let emotions get in the way, right? Okay, I'm not saying that being logistical is bad. <laughs> we need that too. But this is saying, okay, it's time to be a little more balanced between the intellect and the heart and let the heart wisdom come forward. But people are going to resist this. Well, what I'm getting at here is to, you know, open our eyes to what's really going on. We might call it control, okay? but there is a lot of abuse going on. It's always one person trying to get one over on another person. And then we're being told that if you're truly spiritual, you don't have any feelings about it because you just stay in the light. That is going to make people lose it, 
okay? They're not, the wheels are gonna come off. That's not healthy, okay? Not on any level. And it's not truly going to help us in the way that maybe we're being told it will. So there's a, a bit of deconstructing around what we thought was the right way to handle this stuff. Make sense? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense. Some may have to protect themselves. Uh, some may have to protect themselves. There is much swirling to sway people. Do not give in. See, this is that thing where it's like making fun of you for feeling something, right? Or having an opinion or caring about something. When all is done, you will see why this all came to pass. Do not ignore. Be observant for this is how you help and fulfill what is needed for change with all love. So again, this can't be a stick your head in the sand kind of thing. And I feel like the energy, if we're just speaking generally, um, like, like there's something that's going on in Europe, something fires up. Um, I don't know if that's an illness or, you know, something's going on there. And there's going to be stuff going on all over the world. And there's an uneasiness, you know, it's all that stuff we've already been contending with. And yet I'm hearing eruptions, like things were erupting um, and, and we're missing the point. We're missing the point. Stay in our hearts. Don't be in denial about what's going on. And don't do this thing of, oh, everything's perfect because it's not. Are you kidding me? Like, this is earth school, y'all, okay? <laughs> the very point of it is to be imperfect so that we can learn how to get through it. Okay, let's get onto the cards. Okay, so let's see what we have coming up for this week. I'm feeling like people are saying, what about me, what about me? You will deconstruct. Everything that you know is going away and you won't know what to do. Does that alarm you? Go back and watch everything we've been saying for years. First card out is Selenite, clear the clutter. Okay, so this is an interesting one because this is asking us to not just clear the clutter of like, okay, I need to decompress from all the stuff that's swirling around, everything that's being said and done and all the occurrences, right? And having to clear our energy from that. But this is clearing away it's clearing away abuse. And I'm not talking about some event that happened to you. I'm talking about the daily abuses that occur when people try to cross our boundaries. Or, you know, I don't know if you guys remember when I was living in New York City. That's really, I mean, I dealt with crazy neighbors in Colorado Springs, <laughs> but in New York, that was the most. I literally had, you know, a crazy neighbor above me and neighbors who lived next to me who would stand at my door and eavesdrop. And I record videos. Um, the one time I actually heard them say something, I was on the phone. And they were literally commenting to one another right outside my door about what they were listening to. That's what we're talking about here. People being unhinged and not understanding boundaries. Speaking of neighbors, I got another one. She lives in a different building, okay? She's over like out of this balcony back here. Comes out on her balcony to conduct all her business. <laughs> on the phone and I can hear her as if she's sitting next to me, even with my patio door closed and being inside. I don't think she, no, I think she does realize what she's doing. I think she does, I don't know. But you know, these are the kinds of things where we're just at a minimum, we're not considerate of others. And in bigger ways, we just think it's our world. You know, some people just think it's their world and we're just living in it, right? Like, like everything has to be around them and what they want and there's just no awareness of other people. That is the kind of thing that we need to clear that away and start healing and yeah, setting boundaries. You know, that's always been in place. All right. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> We're coming into flu season. I, so I'm hearing that there's going to be a lot of mistaken kinds of like people are mistaking that for something else. Um, but then I, I don't get what this secondary part is. It's something like, like 
people really start fighting over this. I don't know. They're probably gonna, everybody's mad about everything. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. Um, you know, things are gonna be happening. Things are moving and shaking. But I feel like this week we're really going to start feeling. I just heard threat. Oh man. Okay. Okay, you're watching me like do nothing for a second. Listen, this is <laughs> this is what I was feeling, and then seeing I, I heard threat, and then it was like you know, here's where I live, and then it's like pew, like it just kind of shot over. So it's something coming from far away, another threat, a new threat. I I don't want to say too many things, as you guys know, if you follow, you know, I've got you know some stuff going on with YouTube right now. So I feel extra censored and uh, I have to be very careful. But suffice it to say, there's gonna be stressful things. There's gonna be stressful news. But you could tune into your hearts and discern what's real and what's not real, okay? <laughs> Magic, okay. <laughs> wow, we've got some very, some very like light cards here. Um, Apophyllite, stay positive. Yeah, see, this is saying, you know, these things are gonna be happening don't put your life on hope. Be careful, of course. You guys, I said this at the beginning. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I said this at the beginning of the year, if I remember correctly, that I felt like there was something new that was going to come up here in the fall. Let me, let me, this is how I'm getting it. And I know this isn't very helpful for you guys. Just big boulders. But like big, don't laugh at me, big boulders of jelly, <laughs> like jelly, um, like it's just messy. And like, and it's just, I don't know. I think we're kind of getting to a point where I feel this energy of we're partly scared, but we're partly also just fed up. And it's like, get your act together. Okay. <laughs> it has that kind of feeling. So stay positive. Um, you know, it's that kind of thing of, aren't you tired of people using the 2020 tragedies as an excuse to not do their jobs or as an excuse to feed off of that and get attention. But look at these, well, look how cool that is. Like <laughs> they kind of match, they're matchy matchy. All right, let's get another one. I think at this point I can just pull them. I feel like they've shuffled well enough. Boom, another light card, weird. Moonstone, an emotional time. But again, you know, whether or not there are going to be actual events going on, you know the kind of energy I tune into. Uh, they're coming in and getting you more prepped. Be prepared for this sort of thing. Um, but energy can change. That's why I don't do predictive readings, because it doesn't stick. <laughs> I mean, I could be sitting here picking up on an energy and then someone, you know, decides to turn left instead of right, and now we're having a different outcome. So I don't wanna cause unnecessary stress, uh, but it's an emotional time. But live your purpose, that's what this says. Live your purpose. This is Archangel Haniel kind of energy, and Haniel is all about balancing the divine feminine, more heart wisdom, okay? Uh, this could also be kind of a full moon energy, uh, everything, uh, this is like full moon eclipse <laughs> kind of energy. I, I don't think that that's actually happening anytime soon. People out there who follow that stuff, let me know. But this, again, it's more of this cracking open kind of thing. <sighs> Our feelings are oozing out, but I'll tell you what, it is not the time to be self-centered. Yeah, we've got stuff that we have to handle for ourselves, take care of our little microcosm, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be a bad day for you if you only just think of yourself. Even if it seems like it's no big deal, even if it seems like it's petty, that's the conditioning. That gets you to overlook everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jade, be the bigger person. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We were just saying, don't, don't sweat the small stuff. And here is this, be the bigger person. Um, I think what this is saying along with this other stuff, it, I'm gonna interpret this as, Observe, don't get invested. It's that little thing that's becoming such a cliche. Observe, don't get invested. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of another example. I've been going through quite a bit on this end. You know, normal stuff, human stuff, living life. And I found myself getting fired up. 
um, because I'm tired of being, I'm, t- I'm tired of being controlled. I'm tired of people telling me how things are going to go. I'm tired of not being able to live my life in the flow that I want to have. And I stopped myself and went, well, why can't I have that flow? Just because they say blah, 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 doesn't make it real. Doesn't mean they actually have control over me. So do you see this? I'm not saying I'm doing life right. I'm (laughs) stumbling along like everybody. But the idea here is that we can kind of catch ourselves and not be in denial. It's there. But how can we kind of shift and go, okay, what really does matter right now? Do we want to fight over that? Or can we plan, save our energy for when it matters? That's what it is. Sorry, it took me a long time to get there. Save our energy (laughs) for when it matters. So when we say be the bigger person, you know, don't, don't just pretend like everything's okay. And you know what I'm saying? Like we said before, but again, save your energy from when it matters. Get all the information first. So if we're getting wound up in, I believe this way and I'm going to fight for it. You start going down that road, you're going to waste your energy. And then when it actually matters, when you're really needed to step up, you won't have anything left. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. Let's get, let's get the color card. It's so funny. The decks that I've been using, is this the full deck? (laughs) I don't know. Maybe it's because the other decks that I've been using, they're so thick. So when I pick up this one, it just feels thin. Or maybe half the deck is still, no, I don't think so. I think this is it. So I brought the color cards back. I'm dropping the cards. Okay. So lots of scattered energy. Um, if you can roll with it (laughs) by all means do so. Okay. So we have green. Okay, so we had Jade and we have green here. Revitalize your nervous system. Numbers 31, I'm telling you, we have to focus on being calm because there really are going to be things. You know what? There's just so many layers of things that we can't really, as I said, energy changes, but there's so many things that just kind of keep coming up. Power struggles. Um, You know, this is where your boss is just going to make you come in on the weekend just to feel the power over you. They don't really need anything. They just want to watch you kind of go, (sighs) or someone makes up something false about you and gets everybody to believe it, cons everybody into believing it. Uh, The people who are putting darkness into the world, we're going to, it's going to seem like they're having more and more power and then there's going to be a severe turnabout and it's going to come back to them times 10. It's going to come back to them times 10. That's why I keep telling everybody, be careful. <laughs> you know, don't, don't retaliate. And I think that's kind of what be the bigger person card is talking about too. You don't want to go, you know, trying to get revenge on someone. It's probably not the best way to do things anyway. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. 